In a Dodge coin world, fundamentals don't matter. I was thinking, right now, fundamentals absolutely don't matter in the marketplace. Fundamentals don't matter in regards to cryptocurrency. Fundamentals don't matter in regards to real estate. Fundamentals don't matter in regards to unemployment. Fundamentals don't matter in regards to credit. It is one of the wildest periods in the economic state of America. I, mean, I was just sitting there thinking. I was watching this video of a guy who's been trying to buy a house for eight months. He cannot buy a house. Every time he finds a house that he has the money to get, it's gone within a day. Cash buyers. So people are leaving California. They're leaving New York. And they're shifting to these lower income states because they don't have to be in California or New York to have these high dollar jobs. So they're fleeing these states and they're taking their cash with them to these other markets and they're exploding real estate. I predict, or I should say, I estimate, there are probably 10 million homes in America right now that are being protected. Now, why is this important? Because they're not foreclosing. And I don't think foreclosures are going to start again until maybe 20, into 2022 or maybe 2023. Now, what does that mean? That this is going to this this real estate market is going to continue for the next two to three years because of these people who are being protected. Because if true marketplace fundamentals were entering the market, this wouldn't be happening with the uh, mortgage. This wouldn't be happening with real estate. Real estate would be dirt cheap. So you, we can expect, because this is what I think. I think this whole year is going to be weird. And what do I mean by that? I think this whole year is going to be economically weird. Right now, uh, there was some, a lady who called in on the Dave Ramsey show. And this is where we are. She and her husband saved two million cash and go to Dave Ramsey. Uh, we saved two million cash from afraid to invest and look at the comment section. Now, this is what's funny. Ninety five percent of the comment section will never have two million dollars. In cash or even in investments. But due to this weird economic cycle that we have, that these people could not respect the fact that this woman and her husband saved two million in cash, which is an incredible accomplishment. They were like, oh my God, if you had been in the market, you would be worth this. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. If you, oh, you're just stupid. You're just stupid. Even though this woman and her husband have more cash than these people who are leaving these comments. This is kind of the weird economic market that we're in. And when I say that, it's like, I get it. I have someone that's like, man, if you had taken your money and put it in Dogecoin, you would have more money. And this same person is whining about government assistance because they don't have no money. So what we're having is an evaporation of people having any level of respect for people who are doing better than them because of this weird, weird market. Um, we have people who feel because they have information 
not practical reality. Very important part. There are many people who feel because they know that if they had put money in Bitcoin or they had put money in the stock market, they would have more money. They know this. This is a fact. This is something that is, you know, it's like it's a different level of Monday morning quarterbacking. So you're taking what you know has happened. It's a fact. And you're arming yourself with that knowledge as if you have done that. I want you to really think about this right now. We got people who are losing their minds over cryptocurrency, who are losing their minds over real estate, who are losing their minds. Oh, like, don't even get me started on the unemployment. We've got two states who are canceling unemployment because people don't want to go to work. People don't want to go to work. So we're creating this weird crazy economy that I think is going to be with us for about two years. I feel that this is this is not going to disappear anytime soon. So if you're one of those poor people who needs to buy a house. I was watching the video of a girl before the pandemic. She paid $170,000 for a house in cash. YouTuber. The price of her house has doubled in a year. So if you're one of those poor, unfortunate people who has to buy a house, you're, this is what I feel is going to happen. I feel that you're going to buy at the top of the market. And when the market drops, you're going to be, uh, cause I don't want, I, there, there are many people who recently recovered from the crash of 2008, 2009, 2010. I know someone who just recently because of what's going on with real estate, they recovered from that. It took them 11 years to recover and it took this pandemic and the craziness that's going on with real estate. And they were able to sell their house and make some money. Now, where does this leave the practical and grounded people? Because <clears throat> essentially, with all of the craziness that's going on with cryptocurrency, with the craziness in real estate, uh, where does this leave a practical, sound person that likes to operate on the fundamentals when the fundamentals don't matter? At right now, the fundamentals don't matter. I can sit here all day long and tell you what's gonna happen eventually but because it ain't happening, no one's listening. Because right now, due to the madness that is going on in the, the government prop up of the stock market, um, the government prop up of the housing, yes, it's a government prop up because they're not foreclosing because of the pandemic. This is artificially creating this real estate bubble. So if you're a person that likes to operate on the fundamentals and they don't apply right now, I got some advice for you. Number one, stay level headed. Do not go out and get in debt. Right now, a lot of people are getting in debt. <clears throat> a lot of people are using their credit cards. <clears throat> I actually stopped dating this girl who got a hold of $7,000 it was something, it was stimulus money, it was her uh, tax refund, and something else. She got like $7,000. And this is why most of America don't have no money. What did she do? 
she took a month off from work, took three trips, partied, and had herself a good time. And this chick, she looks like Marilyn Monroe in her prime. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. But from a long-term partner standpoint, she's trash. Because I saw what, you know, I couldn't ignore what I saw. I was like, this is how you get down when you get a little money? This is how you get down? This, I, it completely turned me off. I was like, this ain't gonna work long term. So I dumped her. And she was kind of like shocked because she was kind of like one of those TikTok memes, like, you're dumping me? Because, I mean, she's beautiful. She knows she's beautiful, but I was like, yeah, this ain't going to work. Because um, her financial life is a dumpster fire. And due to the government prop up, I didn't find out until later that she was three months behind on her car payment. And because the repo man got canceled, they take her car. So right now, we have people who are living in a state of suspended animation. They're not paying for their car. They're not paying rent. They're not paying for their house and they're getting government money. So this is a very weird, strange time. And it can be hard for you not to get caught up because uh, essentially there was this study done with these monkeys. And they were doing and like even the monkeys know it's like there was like these two monkeys and one monkey they gave three treats and another monkey they gave one treat and the monkey observed the other monkey getting the three treats and the other monkey who was getting the one treat threw the treat back and got pissed off so essentially what i'm saying is if you're seeing all of these people because it's not just like one or two people. It's a lot of people who are uh, participating in the great get over. And it's like, why am I out here working hard? Why? I mean, Glendon talking about, man, you know, work two jobs, stay out of debt. I'm seeing all of these people who are not doing what I'm doing and they're living better than I am. They're not paying their car note. They're not paying their mortgage. They're getting a check, they're taking trips, they're going out of town. Like, you know, at this is where you're going to have to become incredibly mentally strong. I understand there are people out there who are not working hard. There are people out there buying Dogecoin and making money. And it is going to mess with you. It's like, wait a minute, Glennon, why I gotta stay the straight and narrow? Why I gotta keep working hard with all these other people getting over? And like I said, it ain't just like a handful of people getting over. We have millions and millions of people right now who are getting over and they're receiving special treatment. And you're like, why should I do the right thing? And I'm going to answer that question. You should do the right thing because at some point, I don't know when, I don't know when, can't predict that because it's going to be weird. Like I, I fully expect to see this foolishness for two years. I fully expect to see it. Um, it's going to end. And when the, when the true marketplace fundamentals kick in, they're not going to kick in gently. They're gonna kick in like Bigfoot, Godzilla, uh, what was these other mythical creatures from these Japanese movies? They're gonna come in and literally wreak havoc on people. And this is why, because these people have been living in a state of suspended animation. They haven't been paying bills, they've been getting money, they've been living the life, they've been having fun. And the longer that this government prop up goes on, the more unfit these people will be to participate in a normal functioning society. Because right now, society ain't functioning normal. There is nothing normal about this economy. 
Nothing. So I understand that for those of you who are trying to do the right thing, work on your business and build, it can be a struggle. It can be a struggle because you're seeing all of these folks get over. All of these folks get over. So understand at some point, this is going to end. And it's gonna end very harshly for the people who are unprepared, who have become accustomed to living like this. And this is a great danger if you're one of those people who is participating in the great get over economy because luxuries once tasted become necessities. This is why I know there's no, I don't know if there's no talk, I, I haven't researched it, but I feel before the end of the year, we're gonna have another stimulus package. Uh, I think there's gonna be more stimulus money because people have become, um, what's the word, accustomed to it. So right now, the PPP money, the SBA money, is run out or is about to run out. You're gonna see a dip in the economy because people, uh, I remember a guy on YouTube, he's talking about he sold his Turo fleet in a week because people like, man, I'll come get that car, I got cash money. So, and I, I've saw, watched several videos where a dealer's like, man, I got you know five, I got seven, I got $10,000 cash money, I'm coming to get those cars. So, this is a product of the great government prop up. So right now, real marketplace forces are not active. It's like right now, it's like someone flipped a switch and suspended gravity and people are literally floating all over the planet. That's what's going on. And like I said, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard because I know some of you are like, hey, you've heard my warnings about cryptocurrency and you, you went ahead and bought some. Maybe you made some money. Maybe you lost some money. I don't know. And it's going to be weird. It's going to be strange. And it's going to be hard to not want to participate in the great get over economy. And I'm, I'm here to say, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, cause essentially I was getting ready to go ahead and load up on some debt, which, you know, I had to really think about it cause it was going to be business debt. And I was just like, man, you know what? Just slow your roll and ride this thing out. Cause we may be living like this for the next two years from this point on. So that's like a three year weirdness strange economy right now fast food um, restaurants can't find workers because of the government prop up of that government money also we're going through a social shift right now more people live at home with mom and dad since the turn of the century and the longer they're there <clears throat> the more comfortable they're going to become. The more comfortable. Now, here's the good news. If you are a man and you out here killing dragons and you're building a business and you have the ability to live on your own, that single factor is going to be able to get you women. The fact that you have your own place no roommates, no mom and dad. Right now, you got grown people having sex up in their parents' house. At some point, that's gonna get old. You got grown people having sex in cars because they can't afford a hotel. This is going on right now. You've got this stuff going on right now. And if you are a man, essentially, if you have a job, you have a car, and you have disposable income, whatever that is, that's gonna make you, quote, a high value man. 
Yeah, because essentially, because of this weird economy, it is going to be easier for you to represent as a high value man because there's so many hobosexuals. There's so many people who are not participating. A large segment of society is participating in the great get over economy. Ain't paying their mortgage, ain't paying their car payment, ain't paying their credit card bills, ain't getting a government check. It's, it's like fruit punch and cookies for every little kid. And like I said, it's gonna be hard to want to resist the Borg. The board, resistance is futile because essentially in two years from now, if you don't participate in the great get over economy and you work on your business and you build yourself up, you're going to be very, very glad that you did that. Because when this thing is over and at some point it's going to be over, like I said, I'm thinking we're going to have two years of this foolishness because the Democrats are in power and to keep power, they're going to have to give people checks. We have a society that is ready for a socialist agenda. And City Slicker, on one side, you're talking about how to make money. And on the other side, you're talking about getting money from the government. Free agents don't think like that. I am not sitting here trying to figure out how to get money from the government. I got my EDIL loan. Cool. I got my stimulus. 150K. Bet. Got my stimulus. And the PPP money did not work out because there was so much fraud that uh, they tightened up the guidelines. And now they ran out. I didn't get that. But other than that, I'm sitting around trying to create a business model that's going to put more money in my pockets. That's what I'm working on today. That's what I'm going to be working on today because during the government prop up and also one of the things that you will see is a massive onslaught in cryptocurrency advertising and scam advertising, because here's, here's another thing. You're gonna be bombarded with adverse advertisements about making money and not really doing anything. Rent-seeking devices are going to be epic. Now, what is rent-seeking? Rent-seeking is getting money without creating value. And that's going to be on steroids. It's going to be I mean, it's going to be nuts. The rent-seeking advertisements, the rent-seeking programs. Uh, you think the YouTube ads you see now are ridiculous? Be prepared. It's coming. You want to know why? Crime is at an all-time high. So is the criminal mindset. So it's the scam mindset. It is at an all time high. So you're gonna see more criminal activity. You're gonna see more scams. There's a YouTuber who has put out a how to do YouTube course, right? Now here's the thing. Her YouTube success was not done on anything that she actually did. She started doing stimulus check videos and that's how her channel blew up. That one thing, nothing else. Because before she started doing stimulus check videos, her YouTube channel was limping along. I mean, I think she had like four or 5,000 subscribers. Her videos were getting like two, 300 views. And now she is a quote, a YouTube authority. And I'm like, you didn't do nothing special. You just got on the stimulus check and like literally the stimulus check topic blew up so many channels, so many channels. And whenever she does a video that's not talking about stimulus, it doesn't do that well. 
And now she has, um, like, you know, I think it's disingenuous to create a YouTube course talking about how to do YouTube when you pretty much took a social hack to grow your channel and it, it wasn't based upon any real in-depth YouTube stuff. Like, you know, I got something where I'll be coming up with talking about how to make money using the YouTube channel. This is something I have done for 12 years. Not one year, rode the ups and downs of the YouTube algorithm and continued to make money for 12 years using the YouTube channel. This is something I know how to do very, very well. So I am suspicious of someone who will create a course because they didn't really sell, I mean, she's smart. Um, but I'm just like, you take that YouTube course, your, your channel's not gonna blow up. It's not gonna blow up, I guarantee it. Because here's another thing, and as someone who's been a YouTuber for 12 years, I am firmly a believer that YouTube picks winners. There is something in the algorithm that's like, mm, we like this person. And when YouTube picks you, like give you an example. Uh, I'm not a, a fan of Graham Stephens, whatever his name is. And YouTube, even though I go in and hit the little dots, there's three little dots on the videos that you can hit and one says not interested. I have hit that video for his videos 12, 15 times. Yet YouTube keeps pushing that video on me, even though I have indicated multiple times I don't wanna watch that content. That's what happens when YouTube picks you. And I think Graham was picked for whatever reason. Um, and that, that's one of the things. So one of the things that I've been able to do is make a lot of money and not be picked. I will say that Savage Finance is doing, Savage Finance gets more, van, more views than this channel because of the way that I built it and the things I've learned about building YouTube. Um, my last three videos got like 3,500 views and they're growing because uh, I'm building that channel differently. I learned a lot of the mistakes I made on this channel. Like Savage Finance, I don't do um, social topics. Like I don't talk about Kevin Samuels. I did a video talking about why, how does Bill Gates divorce makes you money? It don't. So I'm not gonna be talking about, like I had someone, hey, talk about they rehired a cop that killed, I'm like, that, that ain't the kind of content on this channel. I'm not talking about that stuff. As much as I know it would get views, but I want to build a strong core audience that cares about starting businesses, uh, economic empowerment. And that's why I don't talk about certain things. And I'm leaving certain topics alone I'm not getting into YouTube beef. I gotta stay focused and on point because even though marketplace fundamentals at the moment don't apply, I, I gotta stay focused because it kind of reminds me of when I was running my Craigslist ads and I had to stay focused on that. Uh, it's gonna be really hard for you to ignore to get over people, because it's a lot of them. They're making money, uh, they're doing better than you, and you're working like a slave, and it's just like, Glendon, yo man, Alashe over here ain't doing half of what I'm doing, and their life is just the same as mine. What's the point, bro? And I'm, 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 I understand, I feel you. It's gonna be very hard, and this is where you gotta get mentally strong. This is where you gotta be on your mental game because you're gonna, it's gonna be so easy to fall prey to the cryptocurrency 
uh, coat. It's a coat. It's going to be, I mean, like right now, you can have a house and not pay your mortgage and they're not foreclosing on you. The get over economy is real. You cannot pay your mortgage. You cannot pay for your car. You could be working and spending your money like this chick that I was dating, who when I saw the massive financial irresponsibility, because I'm like, if you fall in love with this, this is what you're going to be dealing with. And let her have access to your money. She's going to do the same thing. She ain't going to act right. She's not. I mean, it was just very, very. Um, it just really remove my attraction to her when I saw how financially foolish she was. And like I said, it's going to be hard, man. It's, it's going to be hard. I understand that right now you cannot pay your mortgage. You don't have to pay your car payment and you could take that money and ball out and you're not going to feel the ill effects of not paying your bills in this weird get over economy right now you don't have to go to work you know if, unless you're in the state of montana or south carolina they're going to give you a check um it's going to be very hard to resist but i'm going to tell you resist with all of your might because this is a blip in time and it's not going to last forever it's going to last a while. I don't know how. I, I mean, it's hard to predict when this is going to be over. Um, we've got the virus. We've got other countries that are literally melting down right now. Funny story. There's a story of a town in Brazil where everyone got vaccinated and the virus has almost disappeared from that town. Google it. Brazilian town that everyone got vaccinated. They're walking around, back to normal, not wearing masks, because um, everyone got vaccinated. And I know you people, oh, I'm not getting vaccinated. You took a big L. Let me tell you something. If it becomes a requirement for you to fly, for you to re do certain things, and because you, you have to be vaccinated, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna get vaccinated. And I have a feeling that it's coming. Uh, once again, this is a very weird, strange, crazy year. And it's going to be hard to not be seduced by the get over economy. I mean, it's very, I mean, think about it. You got a house you've been in six years. You got a car and you making like $3,000 a month, right? and you can just stop paying your bills, ain't nothing bad gonna happen to you. At no time in history has this ever happened before, where you can get away without paying your mortgage, car payment, uh, everyone is working with everyone, the repo man got canceled, and you could take your money and ball out. Do what you want with it. And there are people who are doing just that. There are people who are doing just that and when, like, I'm going to give you uh, another time when this kind of happened, but it wasn't induced by it was a virus. I remember the great dot com bust. I remember I was working at Scottish Rite and I was working with this woman and her husband and some of his friends created this company that business plan was about eyeballs. How many eyeballs they can get to their website? That was their business plan. And she came to work one day and she got a call from her husband and she started crying. And her husband and his partners had just received $80 million for their company. They had not produced a profit. So he had four partners and this was 20 million a piece. She quit her job and they bought a house in Dunwoody. During that period, anything that had anything to do with the internet 
People are throwing money at it, throwing money at it. And then when it bust, <clears throat> and 90% of the internet companies of that era went out of business, that's kind of some of the stuff that's going on right now. Like the majority of cryptocurrency is going to crash. It's just going to fail. Most of it has no purpose. Going back to Dogecoin or Dogecoin, whatever. I want you to think a coin that was created as a joke is making people money. And this is what I mean about marketplace fundamentals are out the window. Marketplace fundamentals out the window. It's about a marketing. It's about getting attention. It's about um, positioning. So, yeah, right now you can buy some Dogecoin, hold on to it and make a little money in this weird, strange economic cycle. However, the danger is, what's one of my favorite expressions? Luxuries, once tasted, become necessities. See, you're gonna have people who are gonna get addicted to the way things are now. And that's gonna be their downfall because at some point, the repo man is gonna start repoing. At some point, the foreclosure man is gonna start foreclosing. Do you understand there are so many people who are fleeing New York and California that the price of Florida real estate has gone up 22 to 30% in a year. What does that mean? If you had a $400,000 house, your house went up 80 to 100K in value in one year. And what's happening, because I'm seeing this, because they're coming from California and they're coming from New York. You want to know why? I'm seeing you know, a real estate guy was doing it. A lot of houses in Phoenix were disappearing to cash buyers. Because the people in California, New York, they sold their houses. They were flush with cash. They flush with cash. So this weird strain, you know, the people who are going to get addicted to it, they're going to be screwed. And this is why I'm saying maintain your mental composure this is why i'm saying yes it's going to be hard to resist this because it's going to be everywhere it's going to be like in my comments i got people and this is what's hilarious i got people who are currently broke who are currently broke trying to tell me how to make money that is how weird it has gotten Someone who has shown you receipts and I still have clowns, jokers, sycophants, and moist men telling me how I should make money when they're currently broke. It cracks me up every time I see it in the comments. I'm like, really, bro? On one video, you're talking about how we need government assistance and on another video, you're trying to tell me how I should be, what I should be doing to make money. See, during this 10 year boom, and let's be honest, do the research yourself. If you had money in the stock market for the last 30 years, your overall gain was 6.8%, which includes the last 10 years. So at some point, the market's gonna go down. At some point, the foreclosure man's coming. At some point, the repo, I don't know when, because it is so strange right now. It is so weird right now. It is so, it's mind blowing. It is literally mind blowing what is going on right now. You got states that are having to cancel unemployment so they can get people to go back to work. So the get over economy is real. And we saw what happened during that, their first round of the last round of stimulus checks, how people were out and about, they were taking trips, they were eating out, they were stimulating the economy, they were buying cars. And now 
the PPP money's out, the stimulus money's been sent out, and then what we're gonna see, I think the next round of stimulus is gonna be money for parents with children. I'm talking about 3,500, 7,000, I think, $3,500 per kid. You will see another jump in the economy once these people get that money. And then I, I just almost sure of it, before December, we're gonna have another stimulus package because um, I haven't looked, but unemployment is still high. It's still higher than it was during the Great Recession. And I think that's going to be the impetus for another stimulus package. If unemployment remains high until let's say August, um, September, guarantee they're gonna get together and they're gonna push through another stimulus package. Probably a $2,000 check this time and it's gonna be crazy. So keep the faith, stay mentally strong, Keep working on your businesses because at some point, gravity will be reactivated. And when it does, the folks who were walking on air, not paying their bills, they're not going to land on their feet. See, if you, you keep your wits about yourself and you keep working and you keep doing what you need to do, you're gonna gently land on your feet and just start walking. All of these folks who are participating in the get over economy are going to crash to earth and break bones because they floated up so high on the get over economy and when gravity is reactivated, boom, 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 boom. You're gonna see people crashing back to earth Reality is going to be harsh. And I would not be surprised if when the great global reset, because right now we have the great global reset, we have the government prop up, and we have the great get over economy. Uh, I would not be surprised if that happened when it drops, if we don't go into a depression because it's gonna be that big, it's gonna be that widespread, it's gonna be, and the last the depression we had, 25% of America didn't have a job. That meant 75% of America was working. And we had a great depression that lasted a decade. I would not be shocked because of the financial foolishness that I'm seeing right now in the marketplace that when it all gravity's reactivated, it comes crashing back down, we may be ha in a, a depression for five to seven years, which means that 20 something percent of the population won't have a job. And part of that's gonna be due to automation, because right now employers are scrambling to find workers and you know, let's, let's have this conversation. I saw a lot of comments about these jobs don't pay enough. Um, here's my opinion on that. When I had a low paying job, I had the introspecting ability to realize that's all I could do. So it ain't the job market, it's you. If that's the only kind of job you get that pays 10, 15 bucks an hour, that is about your skill sets. And when I increase my skill sets, guess what? I made more money. So it ain't the marketplace job to pay you um, $50,000 a year for work that they can pay $10 an hour for. The marketplace ain't going to never overcompensate you like that. Ain't going to never happen. You want to know why? Because of you. You want to know why we don't have manufacturing in America like we used to? Because you like cheap stuff. That's why. 
If I was to say, hey, we could bring manufacturing back to America, we could pay people $20, $30 an hour, but everything that you buy is gonna go up 30, 40, 50%. You'd be, oh, hell no. What? Nah, let's keep the manufacturing in China where they can go ahead and debase their economy, their environment. Like, you know, many of y'all are on this electric vehicles. You wanna know the batteries for electric vehicles coming out of China? You wanna know why? Because China doesn't care what creating these electric batteries does to their economy, their environment. See, that's gonna be a big, big um, hiccup in the adaption of all these electric cars. The creation of their batteries is very harmful for the econ the environments, the ecology. It's very, very harmful. So, all y'all who are like, man, electric cars are gonna be a road five, seven years. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. At the moment, electric cars represent 1% of all cars on the road. So 99% of the cars on the road are powered by gas. And I don't see that changing for the next 10 years. I don't see that changing. But hey, you know, I actually have to make these predictions and stuff because that's how I make money. You, you just have an opinion, whether you're right or wrong, it doesn't matter because you don't make money off of it. So we're, we're playing two different games here. You're playing the egotistical, oh, I'm smarter than Glendon because I'm buying Bitcoin. And Glendon is playing, I'm gonna make these um, economic predictions based upon my financial health and Glendon has more money than you, huh? So you're from an ego standpoint, you can beat your chest, but from a financial standpoint, you don't have no money in the bank. Let's see who wins that game. Let's see who wins that game. Because a lot of you are feeling like you're financial geniuses because it's a bull market, crypto is surging, and you're participating. Let's see what you guys do when the market shifts because it's going to shift. At some point, it's going to shift. At some point, gravity will be turned back on and we will be living in a world based upon economic fundamentals. Because right now, economic fundamentals out the window. Don't matter. Don't matter. In the great prop up economy, in the great get over economy. And also, we may have universal basic income kicking in sooner than later. And that right there, because I predict 20%, like right now we have like 10, 15% of the economy, we don't have jobs for because they don't have the intellectual rigor. I'm not trying to be dismissive, it's just fact, Google it. And we're gonna have 20% of America join those people. So we're gonna have 30, 35% of America living a socialist lifestyle on government benefits, free lunch, living that kind of life. That's where we're headed. And it's going to be feast of famine. Either you're gonna be doing really well or you're gonna be doing really, really bad. There will be no middle class. The middle class is going to completely disappear once this takes place. We're gonna have 30% of the people who are gonna be on the lower economic strata, and then we're gonna have 80% um, of America not making any money, which includes that 30%, and the top 20%, and the top 10%, and the top 1% gonna be running stuff. Pretty much like it is right now. Pretty much like it is right now. The 1% runs everything. The 1% has 99% of the wealth. So if you're not in that 1% or that top 10%, your vote don't matter. You have no voice because you have no money. And I see it being more pronounced. I've seen it being very rough for a lot of people and it's gonna be crazy. So that's all I got for you guys. If you want to be part of the art of holding, I'm going to 
switch that up a little bit. Links below, the price did not go up. You wanna be part of the Fast Start Business Bootcamp. I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna expand that. I'm gonna talk about some other stuff that I hadn't really counted on because starting this car business has given me <laughs> insights. Like, fun fact, uh, I went back to rent my office and this is small commercial office space is very hot right now. There's a group of people who are taking advantage of this and now they're asking, the first time I rented there, they didn't ask me for no tax re returns. This time they're asking me for tax returns. I'm like, what? So a lot of things are changing. Big commercial space, suck and win. Small commercial space being snapped up like crackers. So that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.